You know what? I think there is a, it's a mixture between uh, Swedish people in general having extreme high confidence in, in the authorities and it, in its administration. For example, the vaccination program in Swedish is completely voluntary, yet 98% of the people do vaccinate their children you know, against uh, different diseases, which is the numbers are a lot lower in the south of Europe, for example. So it's the they're appealing, I guess, to the common sense of the people. And uh, the, the Swedes have so far responded pretty well. Like, there, there has been, you know, the numbers of travels during the Easter holiday because the government said, please don't go anywhere if you don't really have to. So people would start saying, what does it mean? Do I have, I mean, maybe I have to see my my friends or whatever. In the end, uh, 90% of the of the, um, of the the travels in Sweden were were uh, actually stopped or, I mean, voluntarily people refrained from going away, even though they had tickets, you know, for the, on the train or the boat or whatever. So it, it has, it has worked quite well in that sense. I mean, obviously more people die in Sweden than in the neighboring countries because there have been lockdowns in schools and, and such in, in Denmark and in Norway and Finland, not speak. So it's it's a bit mitigated, you know, the, the, the obviously the... And people the don't mind the higher death toll in Sweden? Excuse me? People don't mind the fact that there's a higher death toll than in neighboring countries in Sweden? Uh, the, there is criticism as well, of course. I think it has been quite well explained that this, this policy or this theory, basically what they are telling us is that this virus is here to stay. We, there is no way we can close down a society for up to two years or how long it will take to get the, you know, people to get the, the vaccine. So we will have to face it this way. And we will, the, the most important thing is to, to pr protect the old, you know, and, and, and people who are ill, who are in risk groups for different reasons. That has not worked so well. I mean, as in most countries in Europe, uh, there have been a lot of cases in, in, in um, older people's homes, for example. So that's the big issue. And there is criticism, of course. Now, understanding that Stockholm, uh, the region of Stockholm, will probably reach this famous herd um, immunity uh, in May, end of May, give, encourages people, I think, to, to be cautious, but still not be you know, panicking, because it seems that on the other side of May, Things might get easier uh, because the, you know that many people will be immune in the capital area of, of Sweden. That in fact you can you know you can start moving around almost as usually. But it doesn't really help the old or the risk groups. You know we will still have to right, protect before, them. Before I turn to Anna Nemsova, uh, Chris Radicki, just a quick word: Who's right, uh, Norway, which opted for confinement, or Sweden, which never opted for confinement? Well, you know, I was just looking at the numbers, not so much for Norway, but if you count the number of deaths per million people, uh, the U.S., which now has a huge number of deaths, only has 152 per million. Sweden has 200 per million. Uh, it's had over 2,000 deaths, and it's got a pretty small population. So the, you're gambling, essentially, that there will be herd immunity. But the problem is we don't know that there really is any significant immunity with this particular disease because it is so new. It could easily be a case where you get very brief immunity or virtually none. And so in that case, this would have been not a great effort. And if you look at the UK, for instance, it's now got 276 dead per million, a total of 18,738 deaths and that was the country that first started talking about herd immunity before finally they realized their entire healthcare system would be overwhelmed. So I think there's a, an idea, the idea of herd immunity is a great idea. I hope it works. If it doesn't, then a lot of people will have died.